What's going on guys, Connor Wales here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. Now with the pandemic pretty much almost over, um, things are opening up a little bit more, which includes music festivals. And now music festivals are some of my favorite things to shoot. It's usually always a really, really good vibe there. You get a wide diverse range of things you're gonna be shooting. And plus you get to listen to some awesome bands, singers and artists. And when it comes to editing, whether it's photos or video for music festivals, it's always gonna be quite fun and interesting. You can do so much with the edits. I've shot quite a few music festivals in my time, ranging from bigger music festivals to small scale ones, and that also includes shooting the photos for them and also shooting the videos, so making a highlight reel or a daily recap of each day. So I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips to make shooting a music festival, whether it's photo or video, go a lot, lot smoother. Let's get into tip number one. Tip number one is pack just the essentials. Much like with travel photography, you want to be packing as light as possible. You don't wanna be bringing all the cameras, all the lenses, all the gimbals and everything. You don't wanna be packing your entire travel camera bag. You want the most minimal setup as possible. You'll want to be packing as light as possible because when you're shooting a music festival, it's more than likely, one, there's gonna be more than one stage, and two, you're gonna be wanting to move around as easily and as freely as possible. Music festivals involve crowd, and you wanna navigate and you know move your way through the crowds without a big heavy camera bag on your back. In addition to your camera and lenses of choice, you should also pack extra batteries, memory cards, a camera charger, and a basic camera cleaning system, um, like lens wipe or a uh, dust blower because, you know, out in a music festival, out in the field, your camera's probably gonna take, you know, it's gonna get it's gonna get a bit dirty. And you wanna make sure that if you're shooting a festival for more than one day, if you're staying on site or staying nearby, that you've got capability and means to clean your camera. Make sure you invest in a comfortable and small camera bag, one that's actually gonna keep your camera gear safe. Also, you never know what the weather's gonna be like at a music festival, so I highly suggest either A, get a waterproof bag, Two, get a rain cover as well because uh, you don't want that camera gear getting wet. Tip number two is be prepared. Now, the majority of music festivals that I've shot, I've been given a brief beforehand or I've asked for a brief. That way it alleviates any sort of after conversations where the person who booked you for the music festival has been like, you've not really captured what we're looking for. So I usually ask for a brief of what the festival is looking to, to get from my photos or get from my videos. Photographing a festival can get a little bit confusing because there's usually such a wide array of things to see and do. So I suggest before you actually get on site and start shooting the festival, have a conversation with the person who's booked you, study the lineup and ask what they're looking to, to be captured. One thing I always bring with me um, at a music festival is just in case I've lost my phone or uh, my battery dies, which is a very rare occurrence, but I always bring a printed set list. I also bring a list of the vendors and suppliers, so like the street food, trucks and any other things, you know, face paint and all that sort of stuff that's going on. But the most important thing is the set list and stage times that each act are playing on. If there is a specific band that are gonna bring a crowd and the festival organizer have said, shoot this band, get loads and loads of stuff of them, and you don't know what stage they're on, you don't know what time they're on, that ain't gonna be good. So bring a set list. One system that works really, really well for me is the day or so before the festival, I'll go down the set list of each band and I will number them one to three. One being the most important and three being least of the priorities. That way I know where my priorities lie and which bands I should be shooting at which time. Tip number three is capture expressions. Festivals are great for shooting candid portraits because they can attract people of all ages and from very different walks. And this can make for some really, really interesting uh, portraits to capture. You know, those the shots and videos of people having a drink, laughing, smiling, dancing around. You know, I really love capturing like some slow motion, 4K 60, or, or 4K 120 of people just dancing, just, you know, feeling the music. Because at the end of the day, the music is what it's all about when it comes to a music festival. And you want to capture people in their element, capturing their expressions, feeling the music, you know, proper vibing. Festival goers are usually also quite relaxed and open to being photographed. So if you're normally too shy to approach strangers on the street, a festival can be a good place to sort of build up that courage and interact with the people that you're shooting. And that brings me on to tip number four, interact with people. Some of the best photos you'll take are the ones you get once people are comfortable with your presence and aren't posing too much 
much for a photo. With this in mind, you'll get better photos if you try and interact with the people a little bit before you photograph them. Whether it's cracking a joke or, you know, getting them to do a little cheers to camera. Once they've done that and they know that the camera's there and it ain't gonna hurt them or anything, it shouldn't be too hard getting comfortable with people at a music festival because the majority of the time, particularly summer festivals, most people are drinking. Let's, let's not beat around the bush. Most people are gonna be day drinking and they're gonna be quite cheerful as it goes. So they're pretty open to being photographed. The amount of times where I've shot a festival for an entire sort of three day or two day weekend and people have messaged me on Instagram. They've seen that I've been shooting and they're like, I saw you shooting some photographs. Did you happen to get any of us? People love to be photographed at festivals. They want that Instagram banger of them wearing like a, a flowery thing on their head, you know, vibing, feeling the music. So it's not gonna be too difficult to, to get a really good sort of reaction from people when you're photographing them, but people will usually be more happy at a festival to be photographed. And as you interact with people, it's also a great chance to actually sell yourself, you know, sell that you're a photographer or a videographer. The amount of times that I've actually received some work from a music festival, or I've been shooting a band, or I've been interacting with a band before they go on, and they have asked, oh, are you gonna be shooting our set? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're on my list of bands to shoot. Most of the time I'll be sending the photos and the deliverables to the person that booked me, the festival organiser, the stage managers and all the promotion company. But a lot of the times the bands will reach out to me personally and they'll be like, look, you shot our set, can we, can we perhaps buy the photos? Or if you've got any video, can you make us a highlight reel? And that's a good way to make a little bit of extra cash on the side. And now my final tip for shooting a festival is tip number five and that is get crowd shots. At the end of the day, you've been booked to photograph or film a festival to sell that festival for next year. Most of the photos that you're taking and the video that you're gonna be making for this festival is to sell it for next year. It's gonna be marketing material. So getting crowd shots is super important. If you're looking to go to a music festival, you don't wanna be looking down their Instagram and seeing just the bands or, you know, just like the stages. You wanna see crowd shots. You wanna know that it's gonna be a really, really good experience. It's a popular festival and it's gonna sell out. The festival organizers want to give people the impression that their festival is popular and it could sell out quick. So getting loads of crowd shots, you know, whether it's using a drone, flying above and getting some aerial shots, or just being in there in the crowd, shooting, you know, the backs of heads with the stage in front, it's gonna make for a great shot and the festival organizers are gonna be really chuffed with that. Now, close-up shots that show people enjoying the event are great. Don't forget to snap at least a few crowd shots to give viewers a sense of how many people were there. Think about the scenario as well. If you're gonna be taking some crowd shots in between performances, the emotions and the vibe and actual the scale of the crowd is gonna be a lot different to if you are shooting the crowd and the audience, whether it's in the crowd or at the front of the stage, it's gonna be a lot, lot different. You're gonna get the best crowd shots during a performance, people singing, people dancing, people interacting with each other. Those are the shots that the promotion company, the event organizers are gonna love to post on their Instagram when they're promoting the festival for next year. Now I know this video is only five tips, but a little bonus tip is don't be nervous and don't be scared to get up on the stage. If you've got an access to all areas pass, or if you've got like a media, you know, thing that goes around your neck that basically gives you access to all the stages, all the behind the scenes, go and get that. And also shoot the festival team in action, you know, shoot the sound engineers, shoot the, the stage organizers and all the people running the day because they're important as well. But the main thing is don't be afraid to get up on stage, you know, stand behind the drum riser, get to the side of the stage and shoot the singer, get in front of the stage, and shoot up to the singer, up to the band, because that's gonna make for a really, really good shot, particularly if you're using a wide angle lens, that way you can capture every single member of the band except the drummer, they're usually behind the singer, but try and get the drummer as well. Wander around, you know, get on the side of the stage, get to the back of the stage. It's gonna make for some really, really good shots. And at the end of the day, like I said, you're gonna be shooting to sell the festival and they're only gonna sell tickets to a festival to a festival who looks good. So those are my tips to help you when it comes to your next music festival photography gig or videography gig when it comes to shooting a music festival. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.